here with Bobby Pierce uh, again with the post victory uh, interview tonight at Boone for the uh, Hawkeye 50. You didn't win this a couple years ago. Was it last year? Uh, last year I got fifth, and then two years ago, which was the first race here, I won it. Um, the, the big night. The, was that your first Outlaws win? Uh, it was, or was my it close second, second. It was like right after Farmer City was my first one. That I came here and won. Yeah. But yeah, so then now we've been knocking them off, so that's great. And um, I was a little worried last year we weren't very great here, so came in tonight just hoping to have a decent run and to get the win is awesome. I guess uh, earlier tonight Chris Madden said the World of Outlaws put together a schedule that caters to your driving style, and that's why you have the points lead. What do you say about a quote like that? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think I think we start down there in uh, the southeast, and we end in the southeast. It's just during this middle stretch. Um, we do go to a lot of racetracks that probably I'm I'm good at, but um, you know we went to Talladega, which is a track in the south, and we we almost won that. But definitely, it's um, I wouldn't do this deal if if 90% of the racetracks are in the Carolinas. No offense to them, but I just uh, I think the racetracks they have on schedule are really good racy tracks. Uh, most of them are, so it's a lot of fun getting around. And you know, we've been up to New York, Pennsylvania, and been over to North Dakota, down to Florida, like we said, and all over the place. It's Sounds fun. like a nationwide tour. Yeah, pretty much. It, it must be a national tour or something, yeah. So you and uh, Ricky Thornton Jr. end up 1-2 again tonight, uh, just like PDC, just like we've kind of gotten in this rhythm uh, with you two, especially kind of sticking your noses out in front of the other two in that big four. What do you make of that and Longhorn Chassis and your move there and what this late model season has kind of looked like? Um, it's been very, very good to say the least. You know, these, uh, the Longhorns are, it was a good move for me. You know, them guys, I got a lot of confidence in, you know, uh, Steve Arpin and, uh, Matt, Kevin Rumley, Bill C. Shocks, all them guys. Um, and then with the help of my dad, you know, he's done this stuff his whole life. So he really knows what he's doing and we, we work well together and, and especially my crew, you know, they've been busting their tails, making this thing fast too, and keeping uh, all the bolts tight and everything. And, um, but yeah, you know, Ricky's been really fast in his Longhorn and um, a lot of guys. So right now, I think a lot of people think we're one and two. And um, I was a little nervous with him behind me tonight. That's that's for sure. Uh, he was catching me at one point, and we eventually pulled back away from him there at the very end when it mattered. So. You moved down to the bottom after you got a couple laps of clean air. Did you think you had a bigger lead, or was there a different reason that you moved down kind of at the end of yeah. that 10-lap stretch? The top really fell off. You know, that lip of cushion was up there, and but this place doesn't have a wall, so it doesn't stay, and you'll go to you fall off the racetrack. And um, you know, it just got to that point where I'm really surprised to build a cushion anyways. That was a lot of fun, and it made the track really good. So they had perfect amount of moisture on it, and then once that lip fell off, you had to search around middle, bottom, Neither one of them felt good, so I just started doing that weird, goofy line, and it worked out.